This is what I'm listening to. This is what I think you should listen to. And this is what we should dance to for some holiday fun. <gasps> Guys, I tried everything to stop her. I, I, she just escaped and I, and I can't get back. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Elf Tess, kind of look like safety Tess, sometimes mistaken just for Tess, and I'm here to lead you in the Christmas Jukebox Selects. Now you may be thinking, I'm confused, it's sad, Tess isn't really here, but I've never got to lead it. So welcome. It's been a long journey. I escaped the North Pole. I've experienced some level of magical frostbite and I don't know how to come down from here. But I've been given the tunes and I'm here to jingle you up. Let's go. Run Run Rudolph done by Keith Richards. <laughs> Keith Richards is the guitarist of the Rolling Stones. He sings lead vocals on this song. This just celebrated its 40th anniversary. And sometimes I have a little beef with modern Christmas originals and I try to avoid redone versions of original Christmas songs. And I put myself in a debacle and just decided that maybe some of the magic lies in some of the new and some of the old that we just need to include. It's definitely a good homage to a very rock and roll Christmas song. 77 Santas, Gala Peavy. 77 Santas I counted yesterday Thin ones, tall ones, fat ones, small ones, big You may be familiar with I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas, but are you familiar with 77 Santas? This Christmas song goes through the journey of a child finding out that her mom thinks that there's only one Santa, but she's realizing all the differences between every other Santa and actually counts them and figures out she's seen 77 different Santas in a span of time. She's calling her mom out. She's throwing shade. Gayla's not playing around. I want an alien for Christmas. Fountains of Wayne. I want an alien for Christmas. Bring me an alien this year. I want a little green guy about three feet high. Do you really want an alien for Christmas? And that would be kind of cool. But also, I just want to be part of this Fountains of Wayne party. Alexa, play Stacy's mom. Stacy's mom by Fountains of Wayne from Spotify. <laughs> Has got an alien. She got it for Christmas. Presents for Christmas, Solomon Burke. Christmas presents to everyone under one great big Christmas tree. You know, I'm even fat enough to be the world's biggest Santa Claus. <laughs> and everybody could just. I picked this song because it definitely has a groove. It's very soulful. I love any type of Motown Christmas and anytime I can find a hidden gem of grooviness inside of the Christmas realm of original compositions, I'm there. I'm giving myself a present. They're giving you a present. The Tree, Peggy Lee. The Tree, the Tree, the Tree, the tree. The tree. let's go and get the Tree, the tree. and trim it up with shiny lights for everyone to see. I'm a little biased because it has a carousel on the cover and if you know me, you know I love carousels. And the tree just goes through the motions of buying a Christmas tree with a little bit of kid vocal in the back and I'm just here for it. I'm here for it in the background, I'm here for it in the foreground, I'm here for it in the driveway, I'm here for it on the highway. Boogie Woogie Santa Claus, Mabel Scott. The Boogie Woogie Santa Claus, the Boogie Woogie Santa comes to town every Christmas day. Now, like I said before, I love getting into a groove, and anytime there's a female-led blues vocal, I'm there for it. And here we are with Boogie Woogie Santa Claus, a late 1940s hit to bring you in to that Christmas jam. Like this and this. Because you got a boogie woogie like Santa would, you know? I want to be Santa Claus, Ringo Starr. I want to be Santa Claus. You may 
have heard John Lennon's Christmas song, and you may have heard Paul McCartney's Christmas song, but have you heard Ringo Starr's entire Christmas album that I didn't know about until very recently? Yes, Ringo's out here telling you he wants to be Santa Claus. But who doesn't? He only works one day out of the year fully, he preps for like about two months, and then he has the whole entire year for vacation. This song falls into the newer category because Ringo released this album in 1999, and it's definitely got the influence of the early 2000s inside of it with still some really random, like almost deep cut Beatles weird piano happening on some of the tracks. Remember Christmas, Harry Nelson. Remember, close your eyes and you can see. Remember, think of all that life can be. Now I decided to bring it down and normally I don't really like to include slow songs on these playlists because I like to get hype and happy and decorate and drive while I'm listening to these Christmas songs. Harry Nelson contributed some of the greatest vocals in modern day pop music to date. There's a documentary about Harry Nelson called Where is Harry Nelson or Who is Harry Nelson? I can't remember exactly. I'll put it right here. And I watched it and his story is truly sad, compelling, bittersweet, wonderful, bittersweet, sad. <laughs> But this song is off of his Son of Schmilson record, which actually has him like as Dracula on the cover. So you wouldn't think that it would have a Christmas song on it. But this slow tune has a wonderful vocal. I really enjoy it and it also could be played all year long. But I just thought it would be a good transition into maybe another slower tune. And I just enjoy it. So I chose it because I love Harry Nielsen. He wrote a whole entire song about a desk. He also wrote an entire song called I'd Rather Be Dead Than Wet My Bed. And I've talked about it before, but that music video is tops. When you get people from rest home choirs or from a older elder choir to sing I'd Rather Be Dead Than Wet My Bed, you deserve some kind of like internet credibility on the fact that you are wonderful and created something that not normally would happen. Santa's Beard, The Beach Boys. I was excited to find out that there was another original off the Beach Boys Christmas album that was right after Little Saint Nick and still had that kind of wonderful vibe. And I chose Santa's beard because even though it has less of a point and it's about someone's facial hair, it's still a total gem. Merry Merry Christmas Baby, Dodie Stevens. Merry Merry Christmas Baby And a Happy New Year too Look in the crevices of playlists and titles and music that you wouldn't expect yourself at and mix it with some of the things that you find familiar. And when I was on the search for some original Christmas songs, I stumbled upon this group of songs from like the early 60s and late 50s that had some sort of magical vibe. And so when I first heard this song, when you hear the opening line or the opening sound, you don't expect it to be as sensual as it is, but then you get there and realize, wow, romance could exist on Christmas. I could get down. If somebody sang this to me, I'd be getting them all the presents under the tree. <laughs> I want to remind you guys that there's a Spotify playlist link down below that you should definitely check out because the next song on the playlist is so incredibly funny and good and retro that you need to listen to it. I got this sweater and it just embodies what I feel about all music. So whenever Christmas is over, I'll just, I'll just mark this out and put don't hate on my music. Now I promised the world of Instagram that I would show this and maybe the Christmas jukebox selects. This is Santa and the Hippies. I bought this at an antique show and it's literally someone got together all of these uh, printed newspaper like carried on stories from 1968 and gifted it to somebody in a, a folder. It is very fragile, but it's a saga of Santa spending time in Hippieville and 
I'm going to read you a paragraph. They gave him the popcorn popper and their last set of finger paints and their only unbroken record of rock and roll music and a fistful of hippie poems. Ding Dong knew there were things that hippies could hardly live without and still be hippies. But when he protested, they said it was the very least they could do in view of sacrifice he had made by taking a bath. Ding Dong put the things in a paper bag. He picked up the spinning top that had been Santa Claus's and carefully placed it in there too. And if you guys are interested in tinsel earrings, I've made a bunch of different designs, different colors, holographic, non-holographic. And if you'd like to check out my clothes and maybe some of my records on my Depop, I'll have it linked down below as well as all of my other social media because shameless self-promoting. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in and staying around and being the best. I love you all so much and that's all I have for you. Until next time, have a great day, a great night, a great life, a happy Hollies, whatever you celebrate. If you don't celebrate anything at all, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you very soon. Bye! A one, a two, a one, two, three. Yee-haw, ho, 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 here's some things you need to know. Yee-haw, ho, 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 at a redneck Christmas party. Yee-haw, ho, 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 please don't eat. They're beat lights!